Hi there. I'm now going to show you a, a, a question um, on how we use the transformer equation. Um, we're putting some values in. I'll show you two different ways of using the transformer equation. Um, and either of them work just as well as each other, but it's for you to decide which one that you find easiest and which one you're most comfortable with. Uh, comfortable -ist with. <laughs> bit of a tongue twister. Right. Um, let's get on. Let's say if I just. Um, give some values, let's just make up some uh, values. So if we do, um, let's do 225, shall we? Uh, yeah. So if we do uh, VP, I want our values down here, let's do VP equals 230 volts. Uh, let's do volts and um, turns, shall we? Uh, yeah, primary, let's do number of turns primary, 1200, let's do some um, easy values, Ooh, V, sorry, 1200 turns, and, and then we'll do secondary, number of turns on the secondary, 300. Uh, yeah, nice simple, simple values. Right, let's write down our formula. So I am looking, I'm going to be using the first two parts. So I will be doing um, N, P, over NS equals VP over VS. I'll be using this. Now, I am looking for VS, let's say. A VS question mark. Now, remember, hopefully you've watched a previous video about how we uh, transpose and manipulate this formula. If I'm looking for a value that's on the bottom of the fraction, I need to flip the fraction and then multiply out. So, this becomes NS over NP equals VS over VP. Now I can multiply away my VS leaving, and uh, my VP leaving VS or I its own. So, Quickly write that out, so that would be Vs equals Ns times Vp over Np. Yeah, can you see? I've just multiplied this Vp away from the Vs. Now let's input the values that we've got. Uh, right, so uh, we'll do equals, so Ns. I said 300 times my VP, 230, over number of turns primary is 1200, and that equals uh, 57.5 volts. This is voltage secondary. So it's 57.5 volts. That is one way of using the transformer equation. Now I'll show you another way. So I'll just um, let's just clean off this board. Well, we'll stick with the same values. And hopefully, we should get the same answer. If we don't, then I've done something drastically wrong. So what we're saying is the fraction um, it is a, is a um, uh, it's a math symbol, isn't it? We, we, we're saying that if we did NP divide NS, that equals a number. So let's find out what that number is for this. We've been given our two values. So we're saying, so uh, 1,200 divide 300. That's this. Um, now, I say that equals 4. So what we're saying is, if I was to have a value for my VP, this would also, and VS, this would also equal 4. And if I had IS and IP, and I divided those, so that would also equal 4. Some people, I've known people say this is like the, the, the golden number. 
for the question. So for the minute, the golden number for this question is 4. So let's look at this a bit closer. So we've got VP, which is 230. So we say 230 over VS equals 4. That's what we're saying. Now we can easily transpose that so we end up having Vs equals. So if we transpose that, that will be, um, that becomes Vs equals 230 divide 4. And the answer to that is 57.5. And that is the other way that we can use this transformer formula. So the first way uh, is that we, we transpose the formula, we use all four parts to it. And this way we just look at each individual fraction and we find this golden number for our question. So NP divide NS equals 4. VP divide VS equals 4 and IP divide, uh, IS divide IP equals 4 for this question. Um, in my experience lots of people have preferred to use this way, they just find it a little bit simpler. But again, either way is correct, it's just whatever way you find the easiest, whatever way suits you. Uh, I hope this uh, helps you use the transformer formula. Thank you for watching the video. Remember, we've got plenty of other videos on all of the other tests that you can do, and there are also many videos on cable calculations and all sorts of things that you're going to need to know to complete level two and level three in electrical installation. Now, if you want my tabs that I have on my BSM671, visit the website electricalstudent.co.uk where you can purchase those. Also on the website, loads of free stuff, loads of practice tests, mock exam questions and such like. Working with electrical insulation guys, remember, be safe, most importantly, listen to your lecturers, he or she definitely knows best. Take care guys, see you soon.